What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about five things to expect from Robbie and Cobra Kai season six and this is not just you know part one this is just um, just in the season as a whole in general um, from here on out I'm gonna be doing daily videos um, this is gonna be my what to expect series from each character so without further ado let's get into it um, number five bonding with Miguel Moore I liked what we saw in season five of them kind of being like stepbrothers, I guess. Um, so I definitely think we will see more of that. They might bump heads and have disagreements here and there, but for the most part, I think they'll be cool with each other. Um, next, um, I have Robbie reconciling with Kenny. Um, you know, um, things did not, you know, go over good between them in season five. And, you know, Robbie tried to talk to Kenny at the end of season five, and Kenny just wasn't ready to talk yet. And we saw in the one of the trailers that <clears throat> Robbie and Miguel get into a fight with Kenny and Sean. So I think after that, um, Robbie will reconcile with Kenny, and we'll see that bond again like we did in season four. Um, and I think we'll see, you know, um, Robbie training Kenny and all that next um, he's gonna focus on his relationship with Tori um, we didn't get that much like we didn't get we haven't we really don't have that many scenes with them like cuz they didn't get together until late in season 4 like episode 8 and then in season 5 they broke up in episode 4 and they didn't get back together until episode 10 so I definitely want to see more scenes of them together, of their relationship, and kind of just that growing and um, all that. Because um, they have great chemistry, they're a perfect fit, they're very similar, have similar backgrounds. Um, and yeah, um, I think we'll see Robbie um, focus on his relationship with Tori a little bit more. Um, next we have him training under Johnny. Um, we've seen him train under Daniel before, but I just like that dynamic from season five where um, just finally seeing father and son. Um, I felt like they were a great duo in season five. I love the dynamic, love the chemistry, and I want to see more of um, Robbie training under Johnny. That would be so cool. And last but certainly not least at my top spot, it's fairly obvious he wins the Sekai Taika. Like, come on. He's been 0-2 in the finale in the All-Valley Finals. Give the kid a break. He deserves the win. Even, Tan even Tanner said, why is he losing again? Like, it's time. Robbie, I'm sorry, um, Hawk and Miguel already had their shine. Like, it's time for Robbie to win. Third time's the charm. That's usually how it goes. And if he doesn't win again, then the writers really can't um, avoid the claim that um, they favor Miguel over everybody else and that they hate Robbie, which I don't think they do, um, but you kind of can't um, escape that um, accusation. But I think it's Robbie's time to win. He deserves the win, and it brings the full the show full circle. Robbie brings back Cobra Kai. Robbie's the one who kills it. He's the one who puts it um, in its grave. And, you know, that just makes so much sense for the story. And it'd be a great way to, you know, wrap up his character arc and all that. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you guys um, expect to see from Robbie's character in Season 6. Um, and, yeah. Um, have a good day. And remember, Cobra Kai never dies.